Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. In a previous video, like uh, two or three months back, I made a boot animation concept for Android Oreo. So I got a really positive response on that one, and a lot of you guys requested me to make a new one uh, when the Oreo developer preview came out. So that's what I did. I created a new version of that boot animation. So this is how the animation looks like. If you're wondering, I created this animation in After Effects. Many of you guys also asked me how I created this boot animation. I will have like a basic procedure of creating a boot animation in the description box below. So you can read that and you might try that yourself. Uh, I hope the animation looks good enough. I don't know if it's better than the previous one or not. So I also tried this on my phone and this is how it looks on my phone. And I will also show you how you can install this on your phone. So before we do that, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and press the subscribe button because I keep making videos like this. And after this video, I'll be uploading daily for quite a while. So I will also leave the link to the previous boot animation in the top right corner right here. And I've also made another boot animation if you want to try. I will randomly select five people to write the name on it and this is how it looks. It will be in the previous video. And without wasting any time, let's skip to the installation. So to start with the installation process, first you will have to download the boot animation file. It will be one file. You can either use the flashable zip file or you can use the direct boot animation zip file. If you want to use the flashable file, you will need a custom recovery pre-installed and you will have to flash that file using the recovery. Both the files, the flashable ones and the zip file have the same boot animation inside. The process of installing those will be different. So if you have the boot animation.zip file, so it is the same process for all Android versions but it will be different for different resolutions. So if you have a 1080p phone, you will have to select the 1080p one. If you have a 720p phone, you will have to select the 720p file and the same for 480p and 1440p as well. So first of all, I will show you how you can manually place the boot animation zip file and install the boot animation. So for both the processes, you will require a rooted phone and you'll also require a file manager that has root access. So I'll use ES file manager because most people have this and you'll have to enable root explorer. I've already enabled it, so I don't need to do it again. Now browse to the boot animation zip file and copy it. And after you have clicked copy, you'll have to go to the root directory. You'll have to press the slash button once and you'll be in the root directory. Now you'll have to go to system, then media, and here you'll already have a boot animation zip file. You can rename this file to boot animation old and then paste the new file here. So after you have pasted the new file here, you'll have to change the permissions. Click on more, then click on properties and then in the permissions tab, tap change. Change the permissions as RWRR. This is how it would look like. So now you're done for the manual boot animation. You can now reboot your phone and you'll have the new boot animation. I will also show you how we can flash it via recovery. So first of all, you'll have to power off your phone. So there's a different process for opening every phone in recovery mode. But for the Moto G4 Plus, you will first have to open it in bootloader mode by pressing the power button and the volume down button at the same time and then select recovery by tapping on the volume down button and then selecting it via the power button. This will be different for every phone, but you want to open your phone in recovery mode. You can use any recovery, but I have team win recovery in this case or the TWRP as people call it. Now in the recovery mode, you'll have to tap on the install button and then select the flashable zip file. You will not be able to flash the other boot animation zip file. You can only install the files using recovery, which are under the flashable column. So I'll select this one and then swipe to confirm. So that's it for the recovery one. If you reboot your phone, you'll have the new boot animation. So while the phone boots up, I'll do today's notification shout out and it goes to Chayan's TechWiz. If you guys also want a shout out, comment down below after you have turned your notifications on and I'll give one guy a shout out in the next video. So if you like the video, tap on the thumbs up button below and also make sure to subscribe to this channel because I keep making videos like this.